Hey guys, Ed from Ed's Attention to Detail. As most of you know, I haven't done a whole lot with models recently. With the move, with building the house, getting the homestead going, just hadn't had the time to be honest. But today, went to Hobby Lobby and I got my fix. Well, kinda got my fix. Anyway, so let's take a look and see what we got. I think you guys are gonna like this. We're gonna do a kit review. So that way you still know that I hadn't left the hobby, not completely. Anyway, let's check it out. AMT Oldsmobile 442 W30, 1969. Like I said, got it at Hobby Lobby. And I used the 40% off coupon. Uh, let's see, $19.52, not too terrible. So, let's take a look and see what's inside the box, shall we? Okay, so first of all, what you'll notice is the box art. Um, pretty nice looking Bet box art on there. Right. It says factory approved, scale parts. Not real sure whose factory they're talking about. But Retro Deluxe Special Features, model tooling, pad printed tires and slicks, all new decal sheet, vintage style packaging. So, okay. First thing that we notice is we have our chrome parts tree and uh, it's in a plastic bag to keep everything protected. Now I do like the fact that the front bumper and the grill, it looks like the grill inserts are separate and the headlights are actually separate. They're not molded into it, so I, I like that. The rear bumper um, looks like it's got the exhaust tips molded into the rear bumper. Not sure how I feel about that right now. But uh, we'll see how that turns out later. Uh, here's the tires. And like it said in the box, pad printed. So you can see the white letters on these. Um, that's the slick. And then right below it is the wide oval uh, Firestone. Now this kit is molded in white. So, <clears throat> so you pretty much have uh, an option of painting whatever color you want. Or Yes, you could leave it white if you want. Um, the plastic actually looks like it's molded fairly well. I'm not going to take it out of the package right now uh, just because I'm not going to build it right now. Uh, this is actually going to be a stash model for a little bit. But um, So you get the body, you get the chassis, and the chassis has a little bit of detail on it, but not a whole lot, which means that the exhaust and the suspension and everything that goes with it will have to be added, and it makes it a whole lot easier to paint all of that when you're putting it together and get a lot of detail in it. Alright, this next bag um, looks like it contains engine, transmission, uh, the wheel halves. Let's see the hoods in there, the firewall, the radiator, uh, the master cylinder for the brakes. There's some of the suspension components. There's the rear end is actually in two halves. Springs, shock absorbers, um, I bet those are probably the grill inserts right right here. Um, so yeah, uh, I see in that second sprue right there, I see bucket seats. So, quite a few parts there. Clear parts. Oh, well, and, and we got uh, the red tail light lenses there too. Yeah, a little bit better shot right there. So, um windshield, back window, and four headlights. So, like I said, I'm real excited that, uh, that the headlights are actually separate and not molded into that front bumper assembly. Um, I think you can get a little bit uh, more realistic look with the headlights being oh. done that way. Let's go ahead and take a look at the instruction sheet. So, it's a, it's a rather big instruction sheet. Um, again, the picture of the box art. Talks about uh, the history of the Oldsmobile 442. Um, some important information before beginning the assembly. Building tips for the advanced modeler. Um, now, some of you guys would probably laugh at uh, at some of these tips because uh, this this might be actually common knowledge. But you know, round two models has always done a pretty good job with some of this. So. A 
you've got the decal sheet opened up and uh, kind of hard to see with, with the glare on there but you can see I've got 442 emblems, uh, got the lights, marker lights, uh, this is the emblem that's going to go on the breather if I decide to use the breather. Quite a few examples of license tags and then it's got uh, rally stripes, black or white rally stripes. So. Nice, uh, nice little decal um, sheet. Overall, I would say that uh, nice looking kit. Uh, again, AMT, one uh, twenty fifth scale, and I would say just by looking at the kit itself, uh, it's a nice kit. So, really look forward to being able to sit down and. Uh, kind of work my magic with it and you know build it kind of make it my own give it my own little touches okay guys so there you have it AMT 1969 Oldsmobile 442 W30 kit review um, nice to kind of have my hands on a model kit again so thanks for watching I really appreciate it uh, Thanks for hanging with me as we're doing all the other stuff too. Um, but I know that, that for you guys that are, are modelers, uh, this this is what you like. This is what you live for. And, and I'm kind of the same way, really. Um, but with that being said, only one thing left. Pay attention to the details. See you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video like this video and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think also feel free to share this with any of your social media sites